Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile. Today I'm attempting my first ever Elder Crypt on my main account. Hopefully. Let's see if it's even worth it. I'm gonna try to get the maximum points possible. So let's build my team. I'm gonna... So some characters give you 1.5. Shang Tsung gives me 1.5. I think I might actually go for Shang Tsung in there. Why not? He has healing, so he's gonna be really good at this. Uh, so we're gonna go for Shang Tsung. We're gonna go for Melina. And we are for the final one. Let's let's get another 1.2 characters. Should I go for classic reptile? He's just too good not to go for him. Like he's not very useful for bosses. But man, this man can hit. So I'll be getting lots and lots of points. Ooh, Classic Raiden also gives me points. Wow, a lot of characters give me points. Should I go for Classic Raiden here? Classic Raiden, Revenus, Melina, just tag between them and enjoy the ride. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna be... But no, because they're not gonna be useful for bosses. So I'm not gonna take Raiden. I think... I think this is the team for the maximum points. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I went for absolutely insane gear. Like, I'm literally not held back. I, I put, like, in my opinion, one of the best uh, possible combinations of gear for this, for this tower with a pretty strong character team. I think I'll be... Wait, is there anything... No, there's nothing harder than Elder, right? <sighs> let's go right into it, baby. Wait, let's, first of all, let's check. Okay, so I have different characters... I need the Sedanian Blood Kitana. I'm buying a Sedanian Blood Kitana and I don't care. <laughs> you know why? Because I still haven't reviewed her and I don't have her, so she's going to be my first one to buy. I'm going to grind the crap out of this until I get her. Let's go. Let's get a billion million points. We have 2x. 2x for points. Which I deserve. Alright. <laughs> first boss. Let's see how difficult it's going to be. Okay, that doesn't look very difficult. This looks easy. Okay, this tower is gonna be easy. All right, I'll, I'll see you on second floor. I think, I think we can safely skip the first floor. Fight. Right, I made it to floor four, and I lost my Belina in the previous boss battle. Oh god, I lost my Melina in boss battle three because she was just annihilated by boss MK11 Jade. So the battles are definitely harder. Not much harder, but. Like, if all of them are slightly harder, in the end, it's like, becomes much harder experience. But anyway, let's see if we can revive my baby girl, maybe. How, do, do I, did I get any revival? Uh, revive stone. Here we go, one owned. So again, I, I'm gonna have to use it for my Melina. Who else can I use it for? Why are you giving me an option? And now let's heal her a little bit. I mean, she's going to heal herself, but I have a lot of these things. So what does Lifestone do? Ma oh, wait, maximum? Oh. Wait a minute. This is insane. So I increased their maximum health by 20%. I just realized something. I should have healed her first before increasing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Small health stone, large force stone. So let's do this. Uh, let's heal my Melina. Because I have so many of them anyway. Here we go. This should be pretty easy. So yeah, four floors is insane. Like, it, it literally takes like an hour to complete uh, the script. And you have two of them per day. Like, that's that's insane. I, I cannot physically do this every day. But if somebody struggling with the things to do in this game, this is going to take all your free time. You're going to you're gonna be grinding day and night the crypt. I really like this mode, but I will not be grinding it, like, all, every day, all the time. Like, I, I, I might just grind the easiest one on auto until I die and then leave with 15% loss. It's just... Like, it's really cool that you can buy diamonds every week. Like, it's not that difficult 
to grind enough to buy one or even two diamonds in a week. It just takes a lot of a long time. Like these battles are not really difficult, even the elder difficulty one. Like they're difficult, but they're not as difficult as towers, for example. Here, like you, if you have the right team setup, you can you can pretty much glide through it. It's not bad at all, especially if you're using all of the consumables that drop from the tower. Like it's it's very fair. It's very fair. So, yeah, my I, I'm going to make a whole video on Crypt after I played for a bit more, just basically saying my uh, final thoughts. Also, there's this weird bug on iOS where it doesn't show you, like, it, it shows the wrong place that you're located on, but it's not a big deal. I do like that you can get you get to spend coins, though. That is very useful. All right. I'm going to show you the entire floor 4 because this one is going to be the hardest floor. And I have a feeling we're going to have to use a couple more consumables on this one. Fight. Yeah, the floor 4 is definitely much more difficult than any other floor. We're facing maxed out diamond teams with gear on. Like, it, it ain't no joke, you know? It ain't no joke at all. I like I'm looking I'm not looking forward to the boss battle in here. I think I'm gonna use the force the force thingy. Wait, is the force last does it last for the entire floor or does it last for the entire run or does it last only for one battle? I need to check. Because if it's for, for for the floor or for the whole run, I might as well just apply it now to make my things easier. Even before I get to the boss battle. Get destroyed. Nah. And I heal too. Bye bye. Yeah, this is not bad. These battles are not bad. I would even argue these battles are easier than like Elder Survival Tower final battles. But sometimes you can get really bad combination of uh, team and gear. Really bad sometimes. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. Uh, the force. The small force stone. There's large force stone. So boost damage of all alive characters by 10%. But for how long though? Okay, let's let's just use it. Let's see what happens. So so it just applies. It just applies to the entire team. That is fantastic, and it's probably gonna last for the rest of it. That is good. That is good stuff. Also, I wish it would show you like two steps ahead, not just one step ahead. All right, so far so good. This was pretty, pretty fruitful. Wow, that's a lot of things to shatter. Also, you can zoom out so you can see like the better picture, so you can see exactly where you've been, where you need still to go, so you don't miss any paths. Here, it doesn't make sense to skip any paths because you don't have try limitations, so you can just walk as much as you can. Let's see how much... It doesn't show how much my damage will be increased, but I'm assuming it's, it should be a pretty decent amount, right? Let's see if it is. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, Kalem and Jade is a menace in this tower. She can end your run easy peasy. I think the most the most valuable consumable is gonna be uh revival. And I feel like it's said that you can only get one per run. Like I think like I it happened the same thing happened to me on my uh, beginner account I only got one per the entire run and here the same thing. So maybe it's capped. Maybe you can only get one large uh, uh, strength thing and one revive thing, th th which would make sense, I guess. But if you don't use it in this run, you can keep it for the next run so you can use multiple the next run. Okay, we found the boss. Let's go collect the remaining of the nodes. I, I hate that the zoom level resets after you 
do a fight. That's unfortunate. Okay, this seems like a truly random team. This is not bad. But the boss fights... Oof, the boss fights can be pretty difficult. But I think I can take it. I think I can take the boss fight. The, the only problem, in my opinion, is that a lot of boss fights are in Kill Evan team with Jade, and they actually heal from your dots. That is so stupid. It says dot immunity. Can you honor the dot immunity and actually not let them heal from your dots? Because otherwise, you're basically getting punished for using dots, any kinds of dots in your team for regular battles. Like, you cannot set the team with dots because then it's going to make your boss fights hell. And dots are super helpful in the regular fights. So it's kind of like... I don't mind dots not working for bosses, but at least they shouldn't they shouldn't be able to heal them. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, why is he not dying? What the hell? Oh my god, I almost got deleted again. Holy crap. My Melina is not doing so good right now. I'm gonna have to heal her in the next round. I gotta do it. Gotta do her special too and let her well regain some some health. Okay. Open. Large four stones. So I got two large four stones. Okay. Maybe I was wrong about that. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nasty team. I, I don't believe they're completely random. I think there is, like, certain logic to it. They don't put... Because a lot of times... Oh, no. Fight. No! I had to put outer right now, because otherwise, like, I might have a slight chance doing this blindly. I can't believe this bug is still in the game. I'm gonna have to try to blindly win this round. Like, I'm clicking, I'm tagging, I put it on auto, again, blindly. If I lose this, if I lose any characters, my run is over because of the stupid glitch. I can't believe this. This only happens on iOS. So, iOS right now is a king of glitches. There's so many glitches on iOS right now, it's ridiculous. If this is gonna ruin my run, I'm gonna be so upset. I will buy Revival just because I'm making a video on this run. But if it was a regular run, I would just quit. I don't care. I think we're gonna lose the whole thing, guys. I think we're gonna lose the whole thing. I don't know what's going on. I, I feel like my Melina is dead because I don't hear her at all. I feel like I'm getting destroyed right now. Yeah, my Melina is 100% dead because she had no health. I I think I'm going to lose my entire team. And I'll have to pay like 100 souls to get enough revivals to, to just win this. I, I'm just going to lose my entire team. That, that was a very difficult fight. It had Scorpion. I wonder if it's just going to make my whole team lose if I if I have to restart. Yeah, the crit might not be unplay might not be playable on iOS. Like, if you can w go for four four freaking floors, and on the fourth floor you get this issue, and you basically have to lose your fight. I I don't think it's worth it. I'm not gonna do this on iOS. Uh, it's it's just it just seems like a waste. Yeah, my my whole team is dead. My whole team is dead. I have to buy revivals. 50 souls. You got to be kidding me. I'm only doing this because I'm recording a video and I want to complete this whole thing on a video. And also I'm showing you that... 
that this this is not fun. Like this this glitch is still on on iOS. I can't believe they didn't fix it. It's 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 disgusting. My God. <laughs> 150 souls just wasted because of this stupid glitch. Large Hellstone. Well, we have a bunch. All alive characters by 25%. So... I'm just gonna use three. To get them to full. Ay, 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 ay. This is bad. And <laughs> I get to start my, my run from the... If this happens again, I'm done. I'm not doing this for the second time. This was... This was... I mean, I will do it. But I'll never touch Crypt ever again on my iOS accounts. I will only do it on my beginner accounts. And also, if, if this happens to you guys, don't quit. Just try to click where the auto button is. And just pray you're gonna win somehow. Pray that it's not... Uh, didn't, like, if it happened on the first floor and the second floor, it wouldn't be a problem. On the fourth floor... It's definitely a problem. AI absolutely sucks. Sometimes. It's way too passive. You need to be way more aggressive to win this. Let's get some regen going. What's up, boy? And honestly, the amount... Amount of stuff I get from four floors, it's not that much higher than three floors. It's like literally the same, like the same drop rate. So the, the easy difficulty probably... Like two easy ones, I mean two normal ones, probably gonna equal one uh, elder one. And that's not right. That's not right. The rewards should be better here, not just more of them because you have to do more fights. The, the rewards themselves should be better. Like these give you 10 every, I mean 15 every single time. And it's just not enough. Oh no, wait, I don't need to fight this. Why am I fighting this? Let's go back. I don't have to fight this. All right, let's see. Uh, what haven't I explored yet? Uh, yeah, there's a few places I might need to explore. Let's go here. Don't need to fight that. I don't need more consumables, so I'm just gonna skip that one. I'm only gonna go for relics. I have enough consumables. Let's go down here. Final branch that I haven't seen yet. Ah! Freaking things <laughs> flying to my face. Maybe it's actually helpful to like restart. If you're playing on iOS, maybe try restarting your game every like 15, 20 minutes. So there's lower chance of, for that glitch to happen. What? Why didn't her tech attack work? Wow, Joker was fixed. Now his AI is actually fixed and he's using his uh, cards all the time. Not gonna lie, I kind of like Joker not being able to do nothing to you. Holy crap, this Joker now destroys you with his cards. Like, that's insane. Ta da Die, boy. Holy crap, this is annoying. How many cars do you have? Stop it! So annoying. Yay, we heal. Oh, 
Holy balls, the rocket just hit me in the face. Okay, we're good. And now for the final boss fight. This is a long video, so you better leave a like and like it. Wait, that's what I just said. Well done. <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's get this, I guess. Okay, force. I wonder if I can apply small force stone on top of the big force stone. Okay, I feel like this one is gonna have a nice reward in the end, so I'm gonna fight it just just because I want to see what's there. It's it's oh god, oh god, hex Shang Tsung. Do I want that final? Re I I hope it's not consumable. I hope it's like a purple uh, crypt uh, hearts thingy. Because if not and I lose, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, don't you dare poison me. I need my healing boy. Oh wait, he can't poison me because I have reptile. That's right. All right, this was actually not as bad as I thought. Impressive. All right, please tell me this was worth it, and I just didn't waste my time for some garbage reward. I bet it wasn't worth it. Oh no, it is purple rail, a purple uh thing. Okay, thank God. Hundred, holy yes, please. Okay, so I made from this whole tower, from the elder one, <laughs> two thousand two hundred points around, which means I will need five of these runs to get a diamond card. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. It's literally two and a half days per diamond, or you can even buy keys. If you see the, the diamonds in the shop that you need, you can get two, three diamonds per week. Easy, like three diamonds probably possible for free. If you're grinding out Elder Difficulty twice a day, you can get three diamonds per week. That is insanely good. But it is going to take you a long, long time and it's going to be a very, very painful grind. And of course there is MK11... Like, every single boss team is MK11 team with Jade, so any dots that you have are gonna bite you in you know what. So I'll have to fight against them healing from my dots. Okay, whatever. Bleeds, she bleeds. Hopefully I can do more damage to her that it's not gonna matter. Okay, Snare, finally, thank god, this is good, this is very good. That means she will- I should not be able to set her in fire again. Was there injured or something? Oh, shielded. No, only special one, no! I cannot use my reptile special one, absolutely not. This is so bad. Okay, I need to apply, reapply snare, please. That would be very, very nice, but I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Oh, I did! Okay. Okay, we're gonna finish Scarlet, at least. Okay, Scarlet should be dead. Easy claps. Scorpion gonna set me on fire. Ah, I cannot do anything to him. I have to use special ones like an idiot and heal him with. Oh my god, he has poison and bleed on. That's just fantastic. I need to snare him. Please. Oh, he did get snared. Okay, good. I need a guy with a shield. Invulnerability. Perfect. He's gonna eat it. I don't know if I can kill him, honestly. I cannot use my reptile special attacks at all, which is kind of sad. I have to let him go.
Oh, that's literally the worst thing that could have happened to me. We snared each other, and she can just can keep snaring me consistently. I don't think I can beat her. I don't think I can beat her, guys. I don't think I can beat this battle. I If I didn't have any... Wait, there is time to do it too? <laughs> Revive at least one to continue. Or escape the crypt. You know what? Screw this. Screw this. This is, this is a scam. I'm losing 500! <gasps> Wait, you use 30% in the Elder difficulty? <laughs> Screw this! I'm not doing this. Not with this team. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. You cannot use dots. Otherwise, you will not beat the final boss of Elder difficulty. Not in time. Oh my god. Elder Elder's Crypt is a scam. Forget everything good I said about it. I mean, it's my fault for using dot team. Literally, I knew that was gonna happen, but I still went for it because it makes the, the regular fights easier. Ah. Uh. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm gonna f play some more crypts and then I'm gonna let you know how I feel about crypts. But for now, I have very mixed feelings. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content. And I hope you enjoyed this insanely long video. Subscribe. And goodbye.